This is the JM Podcasting Services Show. I'm your host, John Moore. Today's episode, who is our audience? Here's the thing with podcasting that really throws the new entrant. The tighter you define your audience and speak directly to them, the more likely your podcast is to be successful. But everyone on the planet will want to hear what I have to say, I hear you scream at your screen. Fear not, we've all or nearly all of us been there. Podcasting is a different beast. Yes, yeah, some shows will appeal to a wide audience. Dan Carlin's Hardcore History springs to mind with over a million downloads in the 24 hours after each episode is released. We can all dream. For the rest of us mere mortals, the reality is different. Because there are a few options out there for each area of interest, niche if you like, it is the voice and tone of the podcast producer that makes the difference for listeners. This is why your podcast must reflect reflect the values and ethos of your organisation. There may come a time when one of your competitors has a podcast too. What will separate you from them? Obviously, you will have longevity and freshness because you started early and use a seasonal approach to publishing, which continually reinvigorates your show. But, it is through your voice and tone your organisation's values are expressed. These are reinforced by the clients you serve, the staff you employ and the people who lead. With all these pointing in the same direction, mostly, your podcast will act as a magnet for your ideal clients, staff and leaders. Not everyone will resonate you, welcome to life, so to speak, but you will resonate with those of the same worldview, your people. It's a simple rule of humanity, birds of a feather and so on. The idea of your podcast is is to express your values and find the people who feel your affinity. Equally, people tend to listen to more than one podcast in their areas of interest. This is also your organisation's chance to shine. Stay focused on your mission as expressed through your vision and your values. I like history. I listen to seven or eight different history podcasts, all of them on a particular theme. US Civil War, History of Ireland, History of England, History of English and so on. I do not listen to the more general history podcasts because too often they cover areas of little or no interest to me. They are, for want of a better expression, all over the shop. Your shopfront, your podcast, is your way of bringing the right people in through the front door. Even if they window shop for months or even years by just listening. I really don't think I can push that analogy any farther. So, sit down and write out to whom it is you are speaking. Your type of show, monologue, interview, roundtable, really doesn't matter. Having an idea of to whom you are speaking makes crafting your show a delight. Thanks for listening. If you need to get in touch, uh, you can contact me through LinkedIn or email me through the links in the show notes. Until next time.